Live look over downtown Spokane tonight. I think that's down. Oh, okay. It, we are looking southeast. I recognize some structures there, uh, but no snow falling on the sky cam, although Boy, you go outside one minute, it's snowing. You go out the next, it's sunny. And then uh, back and forth, that's going to end tomorrow. It's mostly going to be just snow. Your forecast first for tonight, evening snow showers. Then we'll be mostly cloudy overnight, 21 degrees for an overnight low. Southwest winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Snow likely tomorrow with a high temperature of 36. We'll start the day off with dry conditions and then bring in the snow as we get into the late morning, early afternoon. I'll show you the timing in just a moment. South winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. 37 our high today, almost 10 degrees below our average. We did pick up a little bit of precipitation at the airport in a variety of forms, including grapple, which is different than hail. And in fact, grapple counts in our yearly snowfall total, while hail melted down counts in our yearly just precipitation total. They are even measured uh, differently. 35 degrees right now in Spokane, mostly cloudy skies, northwest winds at eight miles per hour. It's 32 currently in Coeur d'Alene with partly cloudy conditions. Here's a look at those winter weather advisories. Again, they go into effect Tuesday morning and continue all the way through Wednesday morning, up to six inches of snow in the northern valleys, up to three inches with some isolated spots in the Idaho Palouse where you could get up to four inches of snow, some big mountain snowfall totals, and that goes double for the Cascades. Taking a look at our Doppler radar right now, we have the snow showers in progress around the region, particularly as we head into the Silver Valley. I got this picture around four o'clock from Katherine Dickinson. She says she took this right uh, after four, actually, and said it was whiteout conditions with the snow showers. These convective type of snow showers, very spring-like, believe it or not, even though it doesn't seem like it with the snow falling, but they can put down a quick inch of snow in a very short period of time. Here's our forecast starting off at five o'clock, convective snow showers in progress. Those end as we head into the overnight quiet overnight. As we go through tomorrow morning, we are still dry at morning commute time with mostly cloudy skies, but the snow is crossing the Cascades. It's a little different. We'll get more steady snows through the day tomorrow, all the way through the five o'clock commute. Here's a look at our forecast. We have right now a northwesterly flow over the region, but we are going to bring up some subtropical moisture to join in with the cold air that's coming in on that northwesterly flow, and that's what's setting the stage for a pretty good dose of snow tomorrow. Overnight lows tonight, teens and 20s. Doesn't feel much like March out there tonight. Our high temperatures tomorrow only in the 30s in many locations. We're a good 10 degrees below average and temperatures staying below average through the seven day forecast, although at least we have a few 40s on the map. An active weather pattern taking place over the next several days with a mix of rain and snow off and on through the seven day forecast. Of course, the really good news yeah. about this is that March is a big month for producing heavy snowpack. That is the moisture that we store in the mountains in the form of snow that gets us through our very dry mm -hmm. summers in the inland northwest. We're going to be in really good shape yeah. after March. That sounds <laughs> great. We really need it. We'll, we'll be thankful come yes. hot summertime months. Yes, we will.